My name is Diana Kamande. I'm the founder of Come Together Widows and Orphans Organization. Come Together Widows and Orphans Organization is a widows uh, organization that uh, I started here in Kenya in, uh, in 2013. This is our 11th year. As we continue to work for widows, our work here is to champion for the advancement of the rights of widows and to give widows a platform to articulate their issues. Uh, in my work, and in my walk to meet widows online and also physically. On Facebook, I happened to meet uh, with your leaders, the founder, Rosalina Daulo, who I was introduced to by you, your facilitator, Susan Camino Gabriel. We have been able to talk to each other and uh, share so much, especially about uh, widows. And I said I couldn't wait for me to get to interact with you. I first of all met Susan online in the year 2019 on 2nd of March when uh, I learned she was really commenting on our work and she was desiring to do so much for widows in Philippines and she reached out to my inbox and we started a journey there. She shared even the flag of Philippines and I'm so happy that you're celebrating your fifth anniversary today and it is an amazing journey. Having seen you people walk this journey is an amazing, amazing job. You are amazing people. I look forward to visiting you in Philippines and we will be able to interact and do so much. And also I look forward to seeing you also in Kenya because I know things are going to work out. And my encouragement to you, dear widows, today is that God is the only one who has your final word. Your destiny is in the hands of God. And let me tell you, the challenges of widows across the world are the same. The different may be our skin color, the different may be the different names of the countries that we are living in, but the challenges are the same. Have a blessed day. Congratulations on your fifth anniversary. And in the words of the former UN Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, I would love to remind you that no woman should lose her rights, should lose her property, should lose her dignity, should lose her space in the society just because she lost her husband. Take care of yourself, take care of your children because that's where your future lies.